Hi everyone, welcome to my first tutorial video. My name is Mike and I am just a big Salesforce enthusiast and I'm here to show you something that's something that I have to do regularly and, and I figure probably something that you folks have to do regularly as well. If you're looking at Salesforce DX, you do need to have that dev hub and if uh, you're like me and you're not working on a traditional org or you're not doing any work on the side using an official uh, org, then you're stuck creating trial orgs with, uh, with a dev hub capability. So that's it's going to expire every 30 days. You may find that you have to sort of refresh your environment to account for an expired dev hub. And uh, that's what we're going to look at dealing with today. So I've already come to the site for registering for your Salesforce uh, instance with dev hub. It is a 30 day trial. It's not like the free developer account where you've got it for as long as you like. If you've got a Salesforce instance with a dev hub trial, that's going to be done in 30 days. So let me show you what I often have to deal with. I'll go back here to my command line and uh, we'll take a look at my orgs. So we'll do this SFDX force org list command. And what I've got is I've got uh, not just my dev hub org, but I've also got one of my trailhead playgrounds here as well. So if you take a look over here at connected status, you see that I've got an invalid grant and that's because my 30 day trial has expired. So what you're going to need to do to take care of that is you'll, you'll want to navigate over to your, um, your SFDX folder. You do that with, uh, I'm on a Macintosh. I'm at the command line and I've got, I'm doing a, a a directory change over to tilde slash uh, dot sfdx that brings me into that folder and I am going to look for an instance of uh, if you look real quick up here you see that my dev hub is attached to a username of dev hub trial 2 at zonkware.com it's my custom domain so we're going to look for that uh, that reference and we find it here you got dev hub trial 2 at zonkware.com.json and we are actually going to delete that JSON file. So it's called devhub2, I'm sorry, devhub trial2 at zonkware.com.json. We're going to delete that. And then when we go back here and we look at our list, this time we'll see that all I'm connected to is my trailhead playground, which is great. But now I need to go ahead and create my new devhub instance. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to get another 30 day dev hub trial. I'll fill out this form and through the magic of editing, you will see, uh, you'll see where we are when, when this is all done. Okay. And just like that, I've created the dev hub environment. It actually took me a little bit of time. You create the environment, you validate the email. They want to make sure that everything is correct. Once you've validated that your account and your email address is correct, you're able to now log into your environment. So we've done all of that. Now we go back to the command line and we connect the dev hub instance to our SFDX environment. Here's how we do that. We say SFDX force auth web login. That's the command you use and you include these attributes. You say, I want to create an alias for this environment that we're about to connect to. And I'm going to call it dev hub. That's going to make it easy for me to identify. But what ultimately makes it a dev hub instance in your SFDX environment is when you include the dash D attribute. That means this is a dev hub org. So we'll hit enter. And what we expect is this. Our browser opens. We're prompted to log in. So we'll just log in with dev hub trial three at zonkware.com. This is the username that I use to create the dev hub trial account that I just created. I'll enter in my password and then I'll log in. Now I've already logged in. What it's going to do is it's going to ask you if it's okay, if it's, if it's authorized to allow access to your SFDX environment, you can go ahead and say allow. When you go back to your command line prompt, you should see that everything is cool. You've successfully authorized. You can now close the browser. But what I'm going to do is show you that if I say SFDX force org list, you now see a new dev hub instance in my org. So this little D here indicates that it's a dev hub. My alias is dev hub that we indicated when we were uh, doing the authorization. And now it's all connected. So in a case where you're using a dev hub trial, that trial expires. This is what you do to not only remove the old reference to the expired dev hub, but this is what you do to create a new dev hub trial and activate it in your environment. 
Anyway, that's it for now. Check back. We're going to have a handful of videos uh, over the course of the next several weeks, uh, more along the lines of beginning. You know, this is all stuff that's new to me. And if it's new to you, hopefully I can help you out. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.